this class we shall be discussing quartile deviation and some of its properties along with some problems okay so the first let us understand what is quartile deviation so quartile deviation is given by qd is equal to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 you know that what is q3 it is the third quartile minus the first quartile divided by 2 okay the quartile deviation or qd qd is defined as the q3 minus q1 divided by 2 okay q3 minus q1 divided by 2 it is also known as semi interquartile range quartile deviation is also known as semi interquartile range it is also known as semi interquartile range okay the relative measure corresponding to quartile deviation is known as coefficient of quartile deviation and it is defined as q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 into 100 okay q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 into 100 so this is your relative measure that is coefficient of quartile deviation quartile deviation is defined as q3 minus q1 divided by 2 okay now let us discuss some properties of quartile deviation okay the first property says that the quartile deviation provides the best measure of dispersion when we have open ended classification in case of open ended classification quartile deviation would be the best measure it is similar to finding the median okay median is also suitable for finding measure of central tendency for open ended classification here we are discussing measure of dispersion okay measure of dispersion the best measure of dispersion for open ended classes would be quartile deviation and the second property says that the quartile deviation does not take into account the first 25 percentage and the last 25 percentage of the observation it does not say for example if this is the data here we have q1 and here we have q2 here we have q3 okay so this is the data that we are considered that, that we consider to find quartile deviation these are the observations which we consider to calculate the quartile deviation hence the first 25 percentage is not calculated used and the second 25 percentage is also not used so only the middle 50 percentage of data is used in case of quartile deviation now it is also less affected due to sampling fluctuations it is less affected due to sampling fluctuations like other measures of dispersion quadrat quartile deviation will also remain unaffected due to change of origin is not affected by change of origin but it is affected by change in scale in the same ratio that is if y is equal to a plus b x then quartile deviation of y quartile deviation of y will be equal to modulus of b into quartile deviation of x quartile deviation of x okay that's it so this is the relationship now we shall understand some problems okay how to find out quartile deviation and the coefficient of quartile deviation consider this problem here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 observations so in this case we have n equal to 10 okay so we need to find out the first quartile so first how, how shall we approach this problem we know that what is quartile deviation quartile deviation is equal to quartile deviation is equal to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 okay so we need to find out q1 we need to find out q3 and then we need to find the difference and divide by 2 okay next to find out the coefficient of quartile deviation what is the formula the coefficient of quartile deviation is given by q3 plus q1 divided by sorry q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 into 100 so using these things we can find this also 
okay so let us proceed and try to find out so first we need to arrange the observation the process is similar to find out the median we know how to find out the partition values q1 and q3 okay so first we need to arrange the observations in an ascending order next we need to find out the first quartile how to find the first quartile the first quartile is given by n plus 1 by fourth observation it is n plus 1 by fourth observation see here we have n is equal to 10 so it is 10 plus 1 divided by 4 it is 11 by 4 that is equal to 20 sorry 2.75th observation okay we get the 2.75th observation now how to calculate 2.75th observation from this observations okay so 2.75th observation lies between lies between the second and the third observation okay it is say 42 and 48 okay from here to here this is the second observation and this is the third observation 2.75 will lie somewhere here okay so that is the second observation plus 75 percentage 75 percentage or 0 0.75 times the distance between the second and the third observation okay that is what we find that is second observation plus 0 0.75 into the difference between the difference between 48 and 42 the third observation and the second observation that is what we get here as 46.50 now we need to find out the third quartile so how to find the third quartile third quartile is given by 3 into n plus 1 by fourth observation so here also we can find the third quartile in the same way we put n is equal to 10 and calculate so what we get is the 8.25th observation 8.25th observation lies between the 8th and the 9th observation 8th and the 9th observation so this is 65 and 75 this is the 8th observation this is the 9th observation okay suppose the data ranges from here to here then 8.25 will lie after somewhere here okay this is the 8.25 8 8.25 okay so we need to find out this value so how to find out this it is 8 plus 25 percentage or 0 0.25 into we split this 8 and 0.25 okay so 8 will be 8th observation and then 0.25 times the difference between the 9th and the 8th observation the difference between 9th and 8th observation so what we get is 67.50 now we can use the formula to find the quartile deviation that is qd is equal to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so what we get here is putting the values uh, q3 is this is q3 and this is q1 okay so q3 minus q1 divided by 2 which will give you 10.50 okay now we need to find the coefficient of quartile deviation the coefficient of quartile deviation is given by q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 into 100 okay putting the values of q3 and q1 what we get is this step and then calculating we get 18.42 so I hope you have understood how to solve, how to find out quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation. Okay. In case if you are given grouped distribution also, you need to find out Q1 and Q3 by using the partition values method. Okay. And then you can put the values in the same formula. Okay. Next problem. If the quartile deviation of X is 6, QD of X, quartile deviation of X is equal to 6 the relation between x and y is given as 3x plus 6y equal to 20 okay we need to find out quartile deviation of y we need to find this out so how to find this so to find that we will first of all convert this as y equal to write y in terms of x that is equal to 20 by 6 minus 20 sorry minus uh, 3x by 6 okay and that is equal to 2 3 is a 6 2 times a 20 
3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Okay. So, what we get here is 10 by 3 minus 1 by 2 into x. So, here we know that we know that quartile deviation of y is given by quartile deviation of y is given by modulus of b into quartile deviation of x. Now, modulus this is your b, this is your b along with the minus sign, okay. This is your b, this is a, it is not dependent on a, it is dependent on b, okay. So, that is equal to what is b modulus of b is 1 by 2 into quartile deviation of x which is given as 6. So, we have 6 here. So, the answer is 3. So, quartile deviation of y in this case would be 3. That is all for this class. Thank you.